What's up guys? This is the Brave and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. And to pick up where we left off, we are um, attempting to pick up some gems from the collapsing Ottoman corpse and we are going after Istanbul and Ankara. And in, but in this case, the garrison of Istanbul is sallying out to try and uh, stop us from taking their city. And there is a risk, risk of cells back here to keep an eye on. But yeah. Without further ado, let's destroy them. The main army is very depleted, so I'm not anticipating too much trouble. Um, but I do want this army to be in to, to be in as good a shape as possible, because it is my main fighting force in the Balkans. My overall strategy will be to take Istanbul, take Ankara, and try and get peace with the Ottoman Empire. Because I don't wish to push any further east. And I'm happy to take the uh, I'm happy to take the terrain, the gains I have, and mark them down as as uh, as uh, the eastern edges of my empire. So I am going to set my line a bit further back. Although I don't. Ha oh. hmm. Do I have to? The question is, it depends on how the Ottomans play. It depends what they're going to do. So I'll keep them back, but. Not entrenched, not in, not in place. It's going to get a bit confusing as I'm deploying infantry over infantry. Uh, these two gun units can probably go. No, it's a bit dangerous. If they go over here, they're going to stay limbered up. Put two line infantry units and a grenadier unit protecting the left flank. And then let's take grenadiers, my marine grenadiers, and my colonial militia to cover the right. They each get a unit of cavalry. There we go. No, didn't, didn't mean to pick them both up. And then my Spanish bandits hunker down back here, fire it well off so they don't shoot into the backs of my line infantry. Yeah, so it came down to what they're going to do with their, you know, how they're going to deploy. Sometimes they deploy really quite aggressively up front, but sometimes they hunker down. But the main thing I want to see is what do these mortar crew do? Because it would be nice if they abandoned the guns and charged me, because then I could form my there we go. That's what I wanted to see. So then, because they've done that, I can take my infantry and fairly safely push up. Their cavalry does look like it's going to hit our line. I'll place my infantry ahead of the spikes. Yep, sorry Mamelukes, you're being engaged. So that's not their general because we just shot him. There they go. Push my general up, push my cavalry up. Yeah, it's because it's because now I can do this without them without being bombarded by the uh, the city. Their reinforcements coming in from the back, so they've got a unit of camels and the risks of souls are in. They don't look dangerous, and they're not if you can shoot them, but if you can't shoot them, my god. Because they are so weak, I am and their mortars have gone, I am tempted to advance. You guys are at better run. Just to make sure you're up on that flank. And all this infantry that's going to shoot at that mortar garrison, hold your fire. Just let them, while everyone else is repositioning, just let them run to the crest of the hill. My god. I mean, they are definitely deploying in a way as to not come at us. It's 
onto these guns here. You guys work on making a hole. Actually, aim at that section there. Actually, no, you don't even need to. You guys hit the camels. Although, actually, that's a bit of a tactical mistake having militia on the flank. So I didn't want um, militia on the flank because I wanted something that could form square on the flank. Yeah, they they want to go around the mulberry bush. So my grenadiers are here. If they, if they push, at least we've got something on the flank that can form square. That's what I was most bothered about. Guns are still getting into position up on top of the hill. Unlimber. There we go, get these units as a uh, a, a blocker to so the troops they're going to work their way around the, the edge of the wall all my artillery focus on uh, blocker troops right there so that's where you're going to be firing which is a lovely angle so you guys fire over here and our volleys slamming home as well as our militia they're also engaging artillery on the hill fire into the center ideally I would like this infantry well, these two units to also try scale the wall. And then have these three units. Ah, oh, see, they did come back. Get my grenadiers in there. Okay, if I can get these two colonial militia plus grenadiers to hold the flank outside the walls, I would like these guys... on the wall. Make everyone mo jiggle around because I do want them to scale the wall in the most efficient manner. So let's bring these guys into the centre. Keep relying on our... I mean my infantry is good enough. So you've shattered the camels, so you can just come back. My artillery on the right flank, aim at the... Risks of souls are actually all the way back there. Okay, just keep attacking. Guys at the centre. New men storm in. I don't like these Islamic swordsmen. They, they upset me. Let's get my cavalry inside. You guys storm the Israeli. Okay, the guns on the hill. Ceasefire. You guys, <clears throat> when you're up there, you can garrison that section of the wall. You guys are okay doing what you're doing. Surprise! Here comes my grenadiers. Into square you go. So 
So you, you, you go to actually go this direction to fight off the Islamic swordsmen. Okay, let's reform the line broadly. Yeah, there we go, they're in the square. Go on, Bandoleros, get in there. Use your pirate ways. Because they're going to cut their way through the Mamelukes. These guys are grenadiers, after all. They aren't going to fall without a fight. I think the Riskers of Souls have now presented themselves here, so we can focus on them. Yeah, those two units will take care of the swordsmen. The Grenadiers are winning against the 16th, but we will be able to clear them out. And there we go. The uh, Mamelukes have been pushed away. If the Riskers of Souls get to my militia, I think that's a bad time. Which it looks like they're going to. Bring my cavalry across, bring my grenadiers across, bring my line infantry across. Place my militia up threat to slow them down, assuming I can get some, some infantry support. So the thing to bear in mind here is that they don't actually have that, mo that good um, morale. So hopefully my colonial cavalry can really damage their morale. Shaken, wavering. You do not want to try and get involved in a slugfest. Okay, we might have a slugfest. Let's get the cavalry out of there. They're down to Shaken. There we go, we've taken the fortress. So let's get all my colonial line over there. go, charge up. Interesting, the Janissaries are wavering, but there must be from musket fire from the wall. Keep attacking them, for now. But we do want to get these guys to attack the Janissaries, get my general in to hit the Riskers of Souls, keep my cavalry pushing. Because this wing's also going to keep advancing. Get my Janissaries to hit the... We'll get my Cavalry to hit the Janissaries. Everyone else, you form a bit more of a line at your own pace. Yep, Israelis and Janissaries. My general bodyguard is going to chase down the Riskers of Souls, which is quite nice. Okay, I don't quite know what they want to achieve. But I know these Israelis are weak. Yeah, so may as well charge my cavalry into them. Let's get my other light cavalry to charge into... These Janissaries keep my. I mean, yeah, I'll get the pirates involved. Don't shoot, just get involved. How's my general doing? Five more Risks of Souls. So these guys are part of the, the force outside the city, so I quite like the idea of killing them. You guys chase down that unit, come up my general to get over here. So all of you guys, except my cavalry, just get out of the way. Cavalry charge on. Those guys are going to let get away. I'm 
Those Janissaries are going to route, but that's okay. The main thing is there's actually a a unit here that we need to take out. Because they are they are who's left. Because they are trapped and they can't get out. There we go. I'm pretty sure Istanbul is ours with fairly low losses. 554 losses. They've lost nearly 2,000, but I think that might be the city taken. Maybe. Oh, okay, we're being pushed to Ankara. That's a, a bit dodged, Gia, because some of our units are depleted, but this could be the end of the city as well. But let's, lots of their troops are pretty light. Skirmishers, Azars. Let's do it. But it would be interesting to know if if in this turn we do get Istanbul and Ankara, because if we do that would be, would be quite the coup, and they'd also be the focus of a lot of our um, investment. Because we do want uh, we do want to spend money in these regions, Ankara particularly, because Ankara has lots of towns that can produce lots of goods. We will have to lose one to a church school, but I think that's a good trade. Okay, so let's take take my artillery, and rather than create large positions for them, let's actually create. First of all, I want to take my weaker troops and currently deploy them in amongst these buildings where they can get a bit of cover. And then I want to deploy... So it's, okay, you're the one that's still available. I need to deploy blocks of infantry like this. Roughly on each flank. They don't know where the, the enemy reinforcements are going to come in from. So the weak units group them together. We've got grenadiers that are also going to go in amongst this weak unit. So this large unit gets the regular pikemen, this smaller unit, smaller detachment gets the tertio pikes. You get the regiment of horse, you get the provincial cav, and the general over here. Okay, they're coming in from the left. So let's try and take this hill. So I want to get these guys deployed up here first. Because so I can use this right wing to push. To push the right and help clear the way. The regiment of horse is going to get over here to support them. Well, actually, that's just one. That's just one unit of archers, isn't it? Everyone else is coming in over here. Forgot about that. Regiment of horse, get up there. Artillery and limber. So their army is actually coming in from over here. So we need to use our use our cavalry to clear out the. Use our cavalry to clear out the archers to our front. And then we can just, in general, redeploy. Guns included. I mean, realistically, you guys are probably going to shuffle in about here. Yeah, use my regiment of horse to clear out the the pikes to clear out the archers sorry so we've got camels coming in 
The pikes are inbound. So we're probably going to open up on them at range. And there we go. You're not going to stop us from setting up our position, camels. And you guys are going to run. My pikes. Get up here. See how annoying these guys are being at running away. Like they're, well, they're, they're skirmishing. That's what they're doing. But I don't want them to skirmish. I want them to march stoically into my cavalry and get chopped to pieces. There we go. There go the nomads. You guys cease fire. Yeah, look, this is... I don't know why they... Em Empire has seemingly developed this behaviour recently, because they never... I don't... They didn't used to do this, this whole runaway... runaway activity, because the cavalry do it now as well. So ideally I want this infantry like here really. So then these units that are depleted they can form a useful line. Let's take our infantry that's deploying over here and scoot them a bit off to the side. Get our tercio pikemen up front and centre, because here come camel mercenaries. Just stop that regiment of line right there. Let's get you guys out of the way. These gunners get them unlimbered. Let's drop in a square at the last minute to protect my line infantry. They've cancelled their charge. My pikes are in. Good. Ah, they've killed some of my pikemen there. That's a, that's a mistake. The Riskers of Souls are coming in. Let's get the cavalry back behind my line. There we go. Now we we've, we've got a good killing field sorted, and we need we should really advance because there's there is a limit as to how many men they can bring onto the field at once. So that means all of our, our gunners that are currently well, you guys won't ever get in the fight realistically. You guys can get up to the top of this hill. Oh, that's a terrible position for you guys. You can't even fire unless they cross they crest the hill. They are just Muslim, so they are not going to be... They've not got good melee stats, they're armed with pitchforks. There they go. A Walloon line infantry, they just, just tickled them. Yeah, the Feline weren't going to last. So let's keep advancing my line up quite aggressively. I want to keep my weak units together because I don't need to do that much to them to get them into the right positions. So line, line, Walloon line. Armenian archers, Armenian archers. I'm not using my cavalry, but I don't. It's not really necessary. This is the garrison we're fighting, so I just need them to to die.
these army and archers haven't even lost anyone and their morale is broken completely. But there is a limit to how far you want to push. This field artillery is up and ready. There's a limit to how close you want to get to the edge of the map before they just before they can too easily overwhelm you. I know these guys aren't deployed out efficiently, but you know, there's only so efficient you need when you've got so, this overwhelming level of firepower. I never really used Armenian archers because I'd, they, they, they suffer from not having the uh, staying power. All my artillery focus on the Mamelukes out back. There we go, that spurred them into action. They're after my artillery. They are, they are literally straight, well they were straight line against my artillery but now they've broken. And because they're cavalry, really close to the line, even though they should come back, they don't have time. Like, they've only lost eight men, but that's enough. They're close enough to the edge of the map that they're gone. They're out of here. Let's get my artillery to focus on their artillery. Because from an infantry perspective, yeah, we're doing pretty good. I wouldn't be surprised if, we had, if the city wasn't destroyed by now, or wasn't the garrison wasn't defeated by now. But yeah, fire by rank. This is this is what I mean. But when I say it, it's a really important tech. So what's different about you again? Your colonial line, aren't you? Islamic swordsman coming in, Azar coming in. Yeah, there's, on, there's, there's only so much they can actually do. You know, Armenian archers looks like they might actually try and go around the flank. These guys have stood their ground, have held their ground uh, pretty well. Now they've broken. The Azars will probably cause me to... Oh no, those are... Yeah, the Azars will likely cause me to have to uh, move up my line a little bit because they'll probably deploy just out of range. I am aware there's an Islamic swordsman unit. But I got good pikes. Let's see if they can break the Armenian archers themselves. Yeah, garrison Islamic swordsman, they've man, they've broken already. Yeah, morale is... Who who knew a morale was so important? But yeah, let's keep, keep pushing up. Keep pushing up to the point where um, when they enter the field, they're under fire. Squeezing and squeezing. Hey, you guys actually did make it up here. Ugh. You guys get up over here. See, this is the thing, it's I don't... Ugh. Sweet. 
yeah, the Rizars are still popping off shots at range, so to be honest, I might just... These Grenadiers aren't going to get a look in. Yeah, artillery's pushing forward like a like a big fool. There we go. That's why you don't want to count on garrisons coming in to see reinforcements coming in to save your bacon, because there's a chance. Uh, that's a terrible idea. I de I've had reinforcements come in like now, so even against Arm Populus, you know, an artillery battery has no chance because I'll just get mobbed. Yes, yes, back you go, Ottomans. There we go. So that is the garrison at Ankara fought off. Good stuff, and it's like. It might be ours, because they're starting to skirt around us, which is normally what the AI seems to do when they... Ooh. When the AI skirts around you like that, sometimes that means that you're going to take the city, so they're just going to start spreading their troops out. Um, but I'm hoping... Okay, so we got Istanbul. So our Turo crews can march up towards the border. I've got a feeling... We're probably going to get drawn into a, a conflict with Russia, so let's replenish our garrison and let's get these buildings repaired as soon as possible. Let's probably get the general here, Arturo Cruz, and let's get you some artillery support. I don't. I'm not so bothered about them. I'm hoping in a subsequent battle against the Ottomans that we can get. Uh, peace with the oh, they're minus nines so they really don't like us but when we repair the buildings that should help I'm really hoping that we can beat them in this follow-up battle hopefully they've deployed in such a way they're not involved ah, they've got some some dribs and drabs they have made they have decided to to make sure they stay involved so let's attack Ankara, and we're going to knock out some of these smaller stacks around us. Because I want to take the city, and I want to... Um, I want them to... Uh, I want to make peace with the, the Ottoman Empire, so that they... So that we can just establish normal relations. Especially when we're starting to, you know, we're, we're starting to open up borders with the Russian Empire. So there's definitely a chance that they... Uh, they actually start to like us a bit because of that. So let's put my artillery hmm, here, I guess. Keep my infantry together. It looks like we actually got some replenishment done. So we've got a fairly elite left flank that may go through the town. We are going to have to be... Well, if we're going to go through the town, we're going to have... Probably tertiary pikes going through the town because still want some cavalry out wide and some pikes out wide. Okay, so we've got some troops. Okay, they're coming at us from a different from set from some flanks, so I might actually put. Okay, I might take this elite flank here then, and actually, uh, that's a bit much. Get them into the town. I'm hoping my pikemen can magnet those mercenaries towards us. Here, here comes the the enemy cavalry. This wing push up to start getting the the mortars under fire. Let's shoot shoot right at the back. Pike can charge the camel mercenaries. The Mamluks have been pushed back. The armed populace won't stay around for stick around for very long.
the volume guards to try to tie down the mamelukes before they cause too much, too many, tr too many, too many issues. Get the grenadiers to hit them as well. Get my pikes to charge them. Get this infantry to continue storming through the town. My general's bodyguard, you nail it through. There go the enemy there. The line infantry have pushed back the armed populace. Pikemen are slowly making their way into the uh, against the Mamelukes. So you might make them more to garrison the route. Here comes the the enemy camels. So let's. Keep our cavalry running the far side of our pikemen, so I can get my pikes in. Let's form square to f chase down, to face off those camel nomads. Get my units that are attacking the camel nomads to now hit that Muslim unit. Get a unit of line infantry to storm that mortar battery. Get my Walloon infantry and friends to keep pushing. Let's get my general... Oh, that's Camel Nomads right at the back. Don't want to go too close to them. There we go. My Grenadiers can counter charge this unit of Muslim. The mortars are about to be done for. The armed populace is coming in. Advance my line. There we go, the mortars have been knocked out, so form a, an almighty line. So much so I can actually squeeze these guys together a bit more. Although, to be honest, let's just take a handful of these guys to create that line. You guys push, push down the hill. So here are some of the reinforcements coming in. All my artillery focus on that unit of Semini. Now oh, my Tercia pikemen are involved in the line. That's why it's so big. So get this infantry up. Bring the cavalry back. Bring the pikes up. These Armenian archers are attempting to do some damage to us. These grenadiers are not gonna like not gonna like their attempts to do damage to my men. Push you guys up real close to the archers. Get all my cavalry over there to mob this unit of archers coming in as reinforcements. My general to very get my gen general to very gingerly walk past those spikes. We've got infantry. You guys position to fight the Azar. You guys mob those archers. We've got pikes marching up. If the Semini want to try and want to try and take us out, we'll do some horrendous things to them. These archers should not last for very long. Get my pikes to charge the Semini. Oh, there's a unit of Janissaries coming in from the rear. Come on. That's right. Make them one unit continue to fight, the other unit charge. You also get involved on the charge. There's not many of them, so their morale should already be in a depleted state. Camels are 
pushing up around the flank. Bring my pikes all the way back. It's going to take a bit of time, but I want to push up my main infantry line. Come on, Arturo. To be honest, collectively, you can beat these camel nomads by a long shot. I don't really know how much, by how much you need to overwhelm camel nomads with cavalry, um, because I try to avoid that sort of engagement at all costs. It's a complete collapse. Okay, one of you guys can go chase down the Janissary unit. The other unit. Get up there. Whoa! You men stop firing. Only seven Azars left. Oh, two left. Cavalry ready to support the to support my um, stuck pike unit. Yeah, they're getting cut to pay pieces by these janissaries. They've done great work, but janissaries are their kryptonite. Okay, so, fine, let's pivot. They're going to chase us down once we break. Yeah, look, so we chase them, they start running away, then when I move my cavalry to run away, they pursue. And it's like, ugh, make up your mind. I mean, my gun's got... Damn, getting themselves damaged by something. Get my cavalry back to play. Leave none alive. Now eh, you guys attack the Semini. Damn right, I'm going to continue. Stop the guns from firing. May as well try to help the Janissaries kill them. There we go. Uh, Mr. Castelli's got his second chevron. These guys. So I'm not so bothered about killing them, because that's me mostly members of the garrison. But if I can kill these guys, then that's the... Those extra darts. Extra small for uh, raiding forces around the map, around the city... That's them being destroyed, so that's why it's important to knock them out. The garrison is fixed, so they're dead, they're dead, they're being pushed back, they're being pushed back. But Ankara is ours, and they are minus 10 because we've got a university, so let's knock that down. When we get rid of the university, they'll be very pro-us. So let's sink a bunch of money into this region. You guys continue to replenish. So, Diplomacy, Ottomans, Quest Peace. Yes. Good. I have no interest in pushing further east. Uh, we've got, I mean, the only the best territory they've got is Baghdad and Damascus. I don't want to push down and open up another front with the French. I'm happy for them to have that. Let's combine my troops. Let's repair some of these ports. That's not ours at Crete, sadly. Upgrade you to a weaver's cottage. We're going to de demolish the college and turn it into a religious building to keep spreading that sweet, sweet Catholicism. Let's upgrade Batman to a smith's and let's upgrade the coffee house to a 
bawdy house because it's likely that this amount of industrialization will cause some upset. We've also got Synop to the north as a trade. Get Synop upgraded to a trade port. So then we've also got Camillo de Alaya. You get down to Damascus to keep an eye on what's going on there. But I am concerned about... Okay, this... Okay, so I should build a... So you want to demolish the college at Istanbul. I want to upgrade you to a church school. But we need to be ready for a potential conflict with Russia, I think. A whole bunch of buildings done. We've still got some more upgrades to be done. These guys are going to hold. I don't want to push. I don't want to start another war in the Americas yet. Not when I'm so relatively strung out along the... Uh, along the continent of Europe. Upgrading the... Ooh, let's see who starts winning in the Austrian... Austro-Franco war. Just a second. Oh, God. Really sorry about that. <laughs> that came on real quick. Um, okay. So the Ottomans are going to come and try and steal my technology. Understandable. We are the best. Their agents are leaving the university in Ankara because they know that we are about to destroy it. So let's see if the Russians move on Belgrade or Sarajevo. It'll probably be Belgrade of the two. Ooh, they've put a navy into West Africa. Interesting. Let's see how... Okay, so we've got crop rotations. Now, it's probably going to be farm planting season. Okay, so I'm gonna, always going to need this big fleet here to guard my port. Let's have a look at the fleet they've got. I mean, we've already got one out here. Yeah, that's a nothing fleet. If they start any start anything, they might knock out some of our trade ships. But our actual fleet, we, we will take them out. Fleet arise. A couple of galleons, so it looks like over here we could do with... We could do with sending ships. So... This fleet here at London. Let's upgrade you to a naval hospital. Let's get... Because fourth rate seem to be enough compared to the fleets that we're seeing. Well, let's upgrade some of those. Let's go back down here. So reinforcements are making their way out to our Turo cruise. Let's build a galley in the port here. Let's upgrade... Um... Okay, let's exempt them from tax just to break the cycle of negative turns. I don't want them to break break anything. Let's upgrade the commercial port. Let's get a galley for Patras. We've got loads of stuff we can upgrade. Let's upgrade you to a church school. So you need a, a galley of some description. But let's go over to mainland Europe and let's start to upgrade some of these farms. Because we've got a whole lot of farms to upgrade. So, naturally focusing on the British Isles because they make us the most amount of money. They're not going to produce any extra towns, but they are going to uh, help boost the overall income of that region. Upgrade the wineries here. Good. Don't want either of these yet because we're building a church school here at um, Adrianopol. This agent is going to go to Sofia. We no longer need. Good, he made it. Workers are striking Romilian and Atolia. Not anymore, they're not. These ships are going to go back to. Antalya. Well, I might send the combined fleet up to Crimea. And I'll probably want to recruit. Yes, the upkeep on the guerrilla mercenaries are 135, so let's get one of those. I like putting infantry in these ports because then I can move around my actual warships at will. So the Knights of St. John are keeping the Russians bottled up here. 
good. Let's get you guys back to Antalya. Good. Should I try see if I can trade with Sweden? No. Why are you unfriendly? Give you an improved military syllabus for... Actually, let's give you... Do a big tech swap. Ah! Tech. If I give you military syllabus for advanced irrigation... How dare you? Hmm. They might need um, a bit of justice from the crown to make them appreciate the, the situation they're in. The French are counter-attacking in northern Italy. The French are continuing to harry the Austrian fleet. Oh, but they've been pushed back. Oh, it's fascinating watching the Austrians and the French butt heads with each other on the, the frontier. Because it doesn't involve me. Um, I can sit here and I can expand and grow and solidify my foothold. Don't worry, Ankara's going to get better roads. That's right, get your agents away. We're quite happy being Catholic, thank you very much. Interesting that the Russian... Oh. <laughs> right. Uh, do I call my allies? No. France is busy with Austria. So I don't want to bring them in. And New Spain's too far away. But let's fight. I doubt they'll bring in theirs, yeah. So they've taken Belgrade. Well, there we go. We can inch our way up the Balkans a bit more now. And we will have to engage that Russian fleet in the trade zone. They didn't attack our ships, but we don't want to give them the opportunity. So, very well. I doubt you will be able to leave Istanbul entirely. Minus nine, no. So you can start to recruit another army. This small force here is going to build up their strength. Craft workshop, you get an Iron Master's works. It's actually quite tempting to do something like sail and hit Crimea, because that would be an angle they didn't expect. Especially as this army, when they when they are fully replenished. They're not actually needed to keep the peace. So we can slowly build up a bit more of a proper garrison. Move one of these galleys around to Sinop. We don't have a border with the Russians here. Okay, let's upgrade the Opera House to get that bonus happiness and bonuses to wealth per turn. For the region. Let's go to Governor's Mansion because they're quite cheap. And let's keep... Okay, so one more turn until we've got that navy finished. I guess we keep sinking money into ports in our more profitable regions, I think. Ah, the Nava got a new port right when I've run out of cash. You're going to be upgraded into a trade port. Okay, lots of stuff recruited in the meds. The Russians aren't trading, so let's just go back to port anyway. A surplus of brigs, but I have no purpose for it, because the Russians only have one port, and that's being blockaded. Very well. One more turn till we've got... Oh, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have let you carry on with... Cadence marching, but there we are. Salamanca is going to finish free trade doctrine, which is great, and Seville is on the seed planting drill. So let's hit N10. And my agents are slowly making their way to their designated surveillance points. France is pushing. Oh, I didn't fight the damn Russian fleet. 
Okay, let's see if that causes us any problems. If it does, it will only be temporary, because our fleet is more than capable of clearing out there. Small ships. But again, I probably want to focus on incremental gains with the Russians. So if I take Crimea and I take Bulgaria and Serbia, then try and make peace again. But the issue is they might then... Yeah, oh, they're, okay, they're starting to march on in relative force. Belgrade is still unprotected. We still have the uh well we have that small stack nearby catholic missionary in morocco delightful i mean you may as well i'm just gonna make you walk to ankara the long way they're gonna go all the way across africa pr um converting all the way all the way along which is fine my orc has grown so let's give you a trade port let's get another trade port the farm don't worry about the dry dark so this fleet is done so let's get you guys out to east africa and let's start to recruit more ships so we've got a raid from yaramish shalimov which we will repulse I doubt you're. I really don't think you're going to get to leave anytime soon. I could recruit dragoons, but I don't want to recruit such a useless unit. Well, not useless. I just prefer you know, either heavier or lighter cavalry. Pick one. Claudio Galliano. Get marines. Get artillery. Okay, there's there's a bit of a build up happening here. Swiss regiment. Let's get some of those. Let's keep upgrading the farms. Let's upgrade this workshop here. Just keep upgrading because we know we've not got the... Okay, I might upgrade you to a Grand Opera House. Although, to be honest, Edinburgh could do with quite a few upgrades, really. London could as well, but London's not going to be the focus of our campaign for some time. Let's get a handful of upgrades in the Caribbean, because I have very much excluded this region from my plans. But then we're going to want to take this small army here, march east. I was going to march east and then hit them anyway to try and hopefully persuade them to row out this direction. You can see they're already pretty depleted, um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's probably time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the first battle against the Russians. Cheers everyone.